The beaker is made in three phases. First, a blank is made. It's then decorated. And last, the firing takes place to make the decoration permanent. The process begins with gathering glass on the end of a metal blowpipe. To get sufficient glass on the pipe to make the blank, two gathers are made. The glass is rolled back and forth on a cold metal surface. This is called the marver, and the purpose is to make the glass perfectly concentric with the blowpipe. Air is blown into the blowpipe, and a bubble forms. The pipe is held slightly downward to elongate the bubble. After reheating, blowing continues. The two-bladed tool called the jacks are used to begin a constriction between the bubble and the blowpipe. Late in the process, this will be used to separate the bubble from the blowpipe. The pipe is spun to cause centripetal force to elongate the bubble. During reheating, the glass is held downward in the furnace. The purpose is to transform a sphere into a much elongated bubble. This begins the process of the curious foot associated with these beakers. A constriction is made, leaving a small diameter isthmus. The excess glass is broken free, leaving a small hole. The bottom is reheated and flattened. Next, a disc is cast. Glass is gathered on the end of a small metal rod, cut off onto the marver, pressed flat, and quickly the beaker is brought over to the cast disc. It's lowered in place, pressed downward, and after reheating, the disc is made slightly concave. The foot construction is now completed, and the vessel is transferred to the punty or pontal. And this is simply a handle with which the vessel can be held while completing the rim. The glass is reheated, and the opening process begins. With tooling and reheating, eventually the blank takes its final shape. The completed blank is broken free of the punty and placed in an annealing oven for gradual cooling. Next, the decoration is added. The gold is painted on in a liquid form. Here the decoration is greatly simplified for the purposes of this video. Finely powdered red glass mixed with water and gum arabic is painted on. The dried blank is placed in an oven and gradually heated to the temperature of about 950 degrees Fahrenheit. The punty or pontal is reattached to the bottom and the firing takes place in the glass furnace. 
The reason for this is that the enamels fire at a much higher temperature than the softening point of the glass from which the blank was made. To fire the enamels, the blank actually has to become soft. The soft glass is slightly dilated The entire beaker flashed in the furnace for a last time, and the punty is broken free and the beaker placed in an annealing oven for slow cooling.